Why SCORM 2004 failed and what that means for 10 CAN by Talent LMS. Sign number one. 75% of packages are still on SCORM 1.2 10 years after the initial release. Sign number two. There is no certification process for tools and packages for the latest SCORM 2004 4th edition. Several years have passed since the 4th released. Sign number 3. ADL itself heavily supports 10 CAN as the successor of SCORM. In essence, SCORM 2004 always lived in the shadow of SCORM 1.2. Now, with the introduction of 10 CAN API, it seems certain that its adoption rate will decline even more. Reason SCORM 2004 failed. First, complexity. It is a lot of work for LMS vendors to implement, and it's too complex for many courseware developers to use. Second, low adoption. SCORM 2004 offered important new opportunities, but at a disproportional cost. The end result was a low adoption from vendors and instructional designers. Third, technology shift. New technologies have appeared. Smartphones have become mainstream. Gamification has been introduced. Cloud and lean solutions are hot topics. We are living in a much different and more connected world, yet SCORM is still an isolated, browser-based, LMS-centered standard. Fourth, not being pragmatic. There is one important real-world issue that SCORM 2004 avoided dealing with, making SCORM a concrete standard where it's actually not. Content authors should be able to rely on a consistent set of UI expectations. Lessons to be learned and the 10 can future. Simplicity drives adoption. In essence, 10 can is much simpler than SCORM 2004 and even simpler than SCORM 1.2. The need for simplicity is something that 10 can endorses. Technology shifts can make you irrelevant. 10 can can be used inside the LMS, outside the LMS, embedded in a mobile phone or in a video game. And that provides some assurance against technology. Ongoing project support is important. ADL hired a company to drive the 10 can project. Rustiki software. It means that the marketing and support effort is much improved. Freedom and standardization are opposite forces. Unfortunately, 10 can does not help in the path towards standardization. It does, however, offer even more freedom to content creators by letting them, for example, define their own verbs used on statements. Reporting is critical for e-learning. The need for reporting is one of the main driving forces behind e-learning. Without calculating, you cannot report on the ROI, return on investment, of your learning activities. Reporting was not a favorite topic of SCORM, but is at the core of 10 CAN. To sum up, to say that SCORM 2004 failed because it was too complex is an oversimplification. There were a number of forces that led to this outcome. 10 CAN tries to succeed where SCORM 2004 failed by addressing several but not all of the ongoing issues. It also comes with a fresh view on the technology landscape. This presentation is brought to you by Talent LMS.